Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 Monster tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing Gang Riot Random Event. This is a script that will uh, just spawn two gangs and they will be fighting and shooting at you, alright? Or at each other, matter of fact. This one right here is created by QQ Pie. That is the name of the creator. Shout out to the creator. When you get down to this page, what you want to do is scroll down and always read the full description. It has a lot of information in here, including the installation and the controls to press. Okay, so uh, make sure you read all the way through the description. When you read this, you want to come over here to where it says current. Whichever is the latest one, it will say current by it. And you want to select the green arrow to download. All right. Now, as of requirements, requirements for this will be scriptbookv, scriptbookv.net. All right. That will come with it. I will leave a link also down in the description for native UI as well. All right. So once uh, you have those requirements installed and you have Gang Riot Random Event downloaded, on my left hand side I have a uh, folder with one download that download is gang shoot and run cuckoo all right that's what it will say when you download it on my right hand side i have my grant that photo file directory opened up ready to go i have my script hook v and script hook v.net installed as well as my native ui all right now let's go back over to our downloads where we had our gang shoot and run let's open up that folder inside that folder it is going to be these files right here now if uh, you did not install script hook V already then you will take these right here that I have highlighted and you will drag and drop all these files that I have highlighted into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory all right I already have mine installed and I suggest that you watch the video that is linked in the description to installing scripthookv and scripthookv.net, alright? Um, usually when they come with uh, scripts or mods, um, I don't suggest uh, installing those. I suggest going to the source and downloading the latest and installing those, alright? So let's go ahead and move on with installing Gang Shoot and Run. We're going to open up the scripts folder. Inside that scripts folder is the files that we are going to need. Let's go over here to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Make sure that you have a scripts folder. You should have one by now. Go ahead and open up this. Now inside the scripts folder is where we're going to be drag and dropping our files. All right. I'm blow this up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is grab all of these except the script hook v.net too. All right. We just need these three right here. And we're going to just drag and drop those three right here into our scripts folder. All right. So now that these is dragged and dropped in the scripts folder, we are all good to go. We can go ahead and minimize any of the windows that we have open and run the game. All right. Now what you want to do is uh, press L and as you can see over the mini map it'll say Gang War, check the map for the blips. Gang event loading models and as you can see right here you will have uh, your gang fight right here. Now automatically you will be uh, with the families and the families will protect you against uh, against the ballers. Alright, so this is the family gang right here. I installed the, uh, the Bloods and Crips script you know what I mean that changes oh, yeah, the families to the Eastside, the bloods I and I think it. the ballers to the crypts Eastside, but you could also bad. change sides also it depends on whatever gang that you start shooting at pretty much all right after the gang event is over um, the remaining gang members will just uh, start to leave you know what I mean they will find whatever car um, that they can to uh, leave in or they will just start despawning as you seen right there they just started despawning all right so every now and then they will just appear on their own or you could just press the L button to uh, go ahead and, and get it started all right let me go ahead and uh, teleport down here 
to uh, the airport, for example. Let's go to the airport. There we go. Uh, teleport to waypoint. All right. Now, if you teleport out the area, you see in the top left, they'll say gang war over um, something they, they you must have left from nearby or something like that. So whenever you teleport away from um, a specific area where a gang fight was or is going to be, it will just despawn because uh, you left. All right. So I'm at the airport. And if I wanted to start a gang event here, I'll just press L on the keyboard and then look at the top of the mini map. Also, you can open up your map and see the gang fight also. All right, it will say on your uh, legend, it will say what uh, color the dots is. It'll describe which ones. The blue ones is the ballers and the green ones is Grove Street, okay? Now, before we go over there, let's go through the config, all right? So, this readme inside here this information right here will explain this information that I have highlighted will explain exactly which one of these and what they are um, and what they do what the purpose of them are okay it would also explain um, if you wanted to um, adjust you know certain configurations inside of here um, it will give you all the information right here in this part I have highlighted inside the readme okay so if you wanted to adjust anything inside your configuration settings definitely read the readme first um, so that you know what you're doing before you start uh, messing with these numbers inside of the configuration settings okay looks like the gang fight is still going on over here wow <laughs> that's crazy oh nope actually it's not like it ended already get over there all right y'all well we're gonna end the video right here this is one script that i like to have installed look there's a gang member right there he stole a uh one of airport vehicles <laughs> wow this is crazy man this is definitely fun in in a, a, a good script to have in the game you know because just while you're playing the game doing whatever you do these uh gang fights are randomly just you know spawn around the map you know what i mean you'll start to see gang members driving around the map um let me open up my map real quick for example you'll start to see these cars right here and these are just actual gang members you know driving around <laughs> and then um you'll you'll see these actual gang members in cars throughout the map you know while you're playing they'll be doing drive-bys and random locations and all types of stuff so definitely try out this script man shout out to the creator of it as well all right so i'm going ahead and in this video right here i'm gonna let juice world chill out with the uh rest of the game members and everything but uh this helps y'all how to install it look there go some more game members <laughs> If this helped y'all out to install it, or if y'all just enjoyed the video, man, feel free to smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games and Graphics, me and uh, Juice World. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.